today we are going to be talking about my favorite topic in the whole wide world and that is drum roll brrr, the law of attraction it's a law because it is universal it exists everywhere it is constant and unchanging and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it um, maybe you watched The Secret by Rhonda Byrne that movie is on Netflix right now or you read the book that she put out called The Secret and that was actually a huge introduction for a lot of people in this world to the law of attraction I remember getting a book called Ask and It Is Given from my aunt even before The Secret came out. And that book is by Abraham Hicks or Esther and Jerry Hicks, who um, Esther channels Abraham. That's a whole other story. But I didn't really pay attention to that book too much. <clears throat> and I really fell in love with the book The Secret because it was just more fun and my favorite person at that time was Oprah Winfrey. And she brought the cast of the movie The Secret and she brought on Rhonda Byrne and all of them were on her show to, well, most of them were on her show to discuss The Secret and the Law of Attraction. And it was just so exciting because, you know, I heard about it, but at the time, Oprah was into it and so it just made it even that much more exciting for me because I had to be the biggest Oprah fan. I was watching Oprah since junior high school up until the end of her show. So man, I'm kind of telling how old I am, but it doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so the law of attraction pretty much states that what you put out is what you get back. The energy you put out the emotions, the vibrations you put out into the world come back to you in some shape, way, or form. Now, before I get into the whole law of attraction, I have to warn you that once you know this information, there's no turning back. You're going to see the world differently. You're going to see your past differently. And you're going to be so much more powerful in this life that you're living and you'll be able to create deliberately, not by default, but deliberately with the knowledge that I'm about to share with you. I have to begin by saying that we are all made of energy. Energy is the smallest particle that was discovered and it is pretty much vibration, vibration. And vibration boils down to emotions, and emotions become thoughts and thoughts become things and that is how we manifest on this planet in this world and emotions that feel positive the emotions that feel positive to you that you put out into the world will bring back more positive things into your life just to keep that momentum going and if you have negative emotions guess what happens? The law of attraction will bring things that are negative to you into your life just because you felt negative. Now, it can be, law of attraction can be your best friend only because it is always there and is consistent. So you will know the rules of this game called life because the rules will not change. What you put out is what you get back. Sometimes there's, thank goodness it's not immediate. There is often a delay where something happens. And if it's negative, you can know that you had put out some negative vibes and you have the chance to turn those vibes around and make it more positive. Now, I'm not saying go around the world and just be like Pollyanna all the time, although there's nothing wrong with doing that, but just be aware of what you're putting out and know that you have the power to change your emotions 
which in turn gives you the power to control what comes to you for the most part. Now, life does happen. Things happen. People die, you know, all that kind of stuff that is beyond your control. But what you can control, though, is how you react to it, your emotion. And there is definitely a momentum that takes place. And when you are on a roll with a good emotion, it, it's easier and easier to find more positive thoughts and positive emotions and more positive things come to you. And the same thing with the negative direction. If you're going down the emotional scale, there is an emotional scale where it starts with at the bottom with depression and then it may go up to frustration or anger, revenge and all those emotions in between that gradually lead to maybe neutral and then more positive happiness, joy, um, just belief and knowing, bliss, and you know, it just keeps going on and on. The range is wide and things that you are feeling, you will just attract more of those types of things in your life. I love knowing this because I can look around and know why certain things happen. Knowing this information makes you able to no longer be a victim in any circumstance because you know you have the power to change it. You know you actually attracted it. Not to you know put the blame on yourself or anything like that, but to just know that you have that power and you've always had that power to make changes and to attract what you desire you attract what you don't desire as well but just know that you are that powerful and you are never a victim that's very important so speaking of momentum even if you didn't know about the law of attraction i'm sure you've heard things like you wo you woke up on the wrong side of the bed meaning that you got up and maybe you stubbed your toe and then all of a sudden the whole day just spirals out of control like a snowball effect and it's it's a horrible day or as that childhood book said it's a terrible horrible no good very bad day but anyway that's all about momentum and the law of attraction or on the positive side someone could have a lucky streak you might be you know gambling or you just you're on a winning streak and that's also momentum you're feeling good you're in this whole mode of winning 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 and guess what you win more more and more and more the more positive you are the more positive thoughts are available for you to think the more negative you are the more negative thoughts are available for you to think because it's all about being on a certain wavelength a certain frequency where different thoughts exist. Positive thoughts are on a more positive, higher frequency. Negative thoughts are on a lower frequency. And depending on what your frequency is at a particular time, is the types of thoughts and the types of things, anything that can manifest in your life will manifest on whatever level of frequency that you're on. Now, the way to slow down a momentum, like if it's a negative momentum that you wanna bring to a stop, the easiest way to do it is to, you can either take a nap and start off fresh when you wake up, like go to sleep with the intention of waking up with a new momentum, or you can just gradually slow down that negative momentum and think more positive thoughts slowly you're not going to do it suddenly you're not going to go from depression to bliss that's just not the way it works you can gradually move up the emotional scale going from depression you know welcome that feeling of revenge don't act on it don't act on that revenge but welcome that feeling because it's a little better than your depression and your hopeless feeling then from revenge you can move up to anger and from anger, you can move to frustration, which feels a little better. 
and you can just keep moving up gradually and that's another way of changing momentum you don't want to as i've heard abraham hicks say you don't want to stop a train that's going a million miles that way suddenly to go a million miles per hour the opposite way it's going to be really tough on the cargo you want to gradually slow down bring it to a halt and go the other way that's just the way it goes I know some of you may be asking, well, how does someone attract a, a predator? You know, how do you attract a predator? You're not on that vibe of being a predator. No, but you may be on that vibe of feeling like a victim. You may be on the vibe of feeling hopeless and feeling vulnerable in a negative way. And therefore, you're on the wavelength, the same wavelength, as a predator unfortunately and you don't have to feel that way and you can definitely turn those vibrations around and not attract um, predators into your life and realize how powerful you are and you are not a victim okay don't beat up on yourself once you learn all this stuff you're gonna still fall back. This is life. You're gonna always have ups and downs and you have to be able to learn from them and accept them and realize that it's all good. We're in a universe that is constantly expanding and how does it expand? It expands when we experience something that could be negative, but something that makes us desire something different or desire something more. That is how the universe expands. So when something negative happens or what you deem to be negative, don't beat yourself up. Don't get really upset about it because the universe is taking the balance and is expanding from it. Now let's get into the three major steps of manifestation. And I've learned these steps from my absolute favorite law of attraction teacher, Abraham Hicks who is channeled by Esther Hicks. Look her up, look up Abraham Hicks. I actually have uh, a section on my YouTube page that I call Songwriting and Law of Attraction. And I put in parentheses with Abraham Hicks. Abraham has a lot of great Law of Attraction, deliberate creation advice for everyone but specifically the ones the videos that i saved in that section are for songwriters and musicians like us and they are very very helpful now getting back to the steps of manifestation and deliberate creation step one is to ask and we're asking all day every day without even having to say it because god knows what god or the universe whatever you want to call it knows what we're asking for if we experience something that we don't like or that we would prefer something different the universe knows that that's step one you can ask out loud if you want but you don't have to that's asking step two is not our job the universe has already done step two for us right after step one is done our desires are done you know, the universe knows it and is putting everything in place to give us what we want. Step three is our part. Step three is where you have to believe. You have to know that it is already done. And in that knowing that it's already done, what you need to do is either just let it go and go about your life knowing that it's done and allow it to come into your life. Or you can just imagine it being done how would it feel if it were to manifest in your life if your dreams were to come true or you don't even have to focus specifically on your dreams you just have to be happy pretty much and abraham hicks calls it being in the vortex the vortex is a vibrational place that holds all of your desires and all of your dreams the whole reason why you want to achieve all of your dreams and reach your goals is because you feel like you're gonna feel a lot better by having it 
And the thing is, you can feel that feeling of having it right now before you even have it by using your imagination. And one good trick is to feel it, or as Abraham Hicks has said, feel you eyes, not just visualize, but feel it. How would it feel? That's the major thing. That's tying back to emotions and the power of emotions becoming thoughts, becoming things. Now, there are a million gazillion different processes on getting into the vortex and visualizing and there's so many processes to get you into that state of allowing what you desire to manifest into your life. And I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of them, but one that I really like is what I say is it's done. So have fun. That's it. Know that it's done. Go have fun any kinds of way that you could imagine having fun. Just line up with what you desire and by lining up I mean knowing that what you want is going to make you feel better feel better now and it'll come to you as Wayne Dyer said you have to believe it before you see it a lot of people say seeing is believing but in reality you have to believe it before it actually manifests and you could see it in your life I follow so many different spiritual and law of attraction teachers. I admire them. I'm happy that I have become a spiritual and law of attraction teacher as well. And the best one that I always go back to is Esther Hicks, who channels Abraham. And it's just the, the best, the basic and anything she says I can apply to anything in my life. You may want to check out my book that I have available on Amazon right now called Your Path to Songwriting Success, Seven Steps to Becoming a Confident Songwriter. And I talk about all of this stuff in it. And of course, I talk about Abraham Hicks and oh, it's just some good stuff in there. So I recommend you, you know, get yourself a copy, share it with your friends and just enjoy it. By knowing about this powerful law of attraction and how to create deliberately, you will be able to use it to write songs. You'll be able to use it to meet the right people, to just everything, every aspect in songwriting and song producing and all of that great stuff. You can use the law of attraction to deliberately attract what you want into your life and you just have to believe just believe trust and believe that it's done let's just back up you ask which you're doing all the time anyway but it does help when you write down what you want step two once again is already done the universe heard your desire and is on it and you just have to relax and allow it to come to you. That's step three. Relax, allow it, get into the vibrational state of already having it. And guess what? It is yours. So it's done. Have fun. Happy manifesting. And I will see you in the next video where I get more into the law of attraction and using it for your songwriting success.